Professor Thurman. Yes, thank you, uh, uh, Your Holiness. Um, you are mentioning about trust. Oh. Uh, before you mentioned about the self-defeating policy of Chinese leadership because of fear and distrust of Tibetan people. Yes. And propaganda making even Chinese people having fear and distrust. Last night, the very tall Dick Blum expressed uh, irritation because of not having meditated enough, she said. <laughs> with the fact that no senior leader of China has met with you personally or the Tibetan leadership in exile for 54 years since you first went mm. with uh, Mao Zedong, you met with Mao and Dao yes. in mm. Beijing. And he expressed uh, displeasure with that idea, a very tall displeasure. <laughs> <laughs> and today, uh, Secretary Albright also asked very kindly what we could do to help. And it occurs to me that in this room is a great deal of talent and knowledge and connections, interrelationships. And if some of the, and Prabhu Punso Wangye in, 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 in China also has written that the higher leadership there is misinformed by people in the lower levels of the Chinese government machinery about the true situation. Yes, yes. They have unrealistic yes. view. Yes. Mm. yes. So with all of the genius here at the Aspen Institute and all of the people, could they, would you be happy if they would arrange different types of meetings for people at a higher level, with you, with Sandong Rinpoche, with the Tibetan parliamentary, not just yourself, but with other mm. leading mm. Tibetan figures, to create a dialogue, let's say a little bit off the record, where mm. a new level mm. of trust mm. would begin, instead of this old-fashioned thing of the people running the suppressed separatism, mm. the iron rice full of suppressed separatism, would this make you happy to have such a series of dialogues? Thank you. Interviews? Thank you. That's a nice offer. <laughs> yes. <laughs> we always, we always ready. You see, meet some Chinese sort of what's a, uh, leadership. Of course, anywhere, anytime. We always sort of ready. But I think one thing now, uh, after this, you see recent event. Now I think that the leadership must know the many Tibetan there's some kind of resentment. Mm -hmm. I think they must know. But still you see, they just blame outsider and including Western anti Chinese forces I think here also this, this trend, I think some Western anti-Chinese forces may be here. <laughs> <laughs> so they usually, they usually you see, accuse us. We, are, we become instrument of Western anti-Chinese forces. No. <laughs> uh, I think in the just after Second World War or Korean War or the, during the, that, this period, and also I think the Vietnam War, uh, maybe some people is in may, I think may have some kind of sort of, sort of uh, strong feeling. But I don't think now, I don't think. But the Chinese city sometimes maybe deliberately create that kind of sort of image, sometimes. Uh, uh, I mean, they know there's no, I think, I think most probably, I think they know about our sort of motivation or our thinking. But in spite of knowing that, I think they are deliberately now creating these sort of, because of the accusation. So uh, they have their own sort of, what's it, they? policy, something fixed. So in such case, just a mere meeting, not, I, now I doubt. Now, actually, now, frankly speaking, now, after recent sort of event, that the Chinese government sort of attitude, my trust, frankly speaking, become the thinner, thinner, thinner. Hmm. Frankly speaking. So, in any way, I already semi-retired position. So now I'm looking forward, complete retirement. Hmm? <laughs> then I, I want to devote 
all my energy and time for promotion of human value and the promotion of religious harmony. And good, the other, uh, other, other field. No, const no concrete result, then waste of time. I really feel like that. 